Hello everybody and welcome back. To be honest, I search for this logo with open source like Illustrator, EPS or even Photoshop but unfortunately I couldn't find it. But you know what? I like that. Cause then I thought, why do not I build and animate this logo entirely inside After Effects? And this is how the idea started. Anyway, let's get started. First, I went to the AG Plus Facebook site and then downloaded this random video. Just use the logo at the end of the video. Then I import it to After Effects and create a new composition and trim it to the beginning of the logo animation. Now lagged up this layer because we don't need it. Okay, first let's get start with a big element here, the plus icon. Click on Ctrl plus R from keyboard to bring a ruler. Go to the ruler area and keep holding with the right click. Then drag down until this blue line appears. Now drag it at the top of the plus icon. And zoom in just to make sure that everything is okay. Drag another line and zoom in again just to alignment. Um, left corner Right corner Okay, now from the view menu choose lock guys then choose snap to guys and Make sure to choose this option. This is very important to choose snap to guys now from the shape menu, let's choose the rectangle option, then click at the top left of the blue lines, keep holding and drag to the right bottom corner of the lines. You will notice that the angle are pulling the sides like magnets, and that's why we choose the snap to guides option. Let's change the layer color to separate it from the background. Um, if you notice that it's not a vertical line, it's like a, a slash line. Actually, there's many ways to make it like a slash. I'll go to the easy way. Click on the triangle, then rectangle, transform rectangle, then choose skew. I change it to um, 19 maybe. Yep, 19 is good. Now alignment with the original one. Nice. Now let's draw the other shape. As we did with the first one, let's draw the lines um, left corner, right corner, the top one, and the bottom. And draw the other rectangle. Change the skew to 19, just like we did to the first one. I think it needs to be smaller than the first one. Let's change the anchor point first by going to the anchor point tool and click on control from keyboard and keep holding. Then double click on the anchor point tool and now the anchor point are on the center. Now go back to the selection tool and try to align it to the original one. Okay, now we can restore the original yellow color. Turn off the video temporary. Select two layers and then right click and choose pre-compose. Rename it to plus and make sure to choose move add attribute to the new composition options. Option. Now, if you back to the original video, you will notice that the plus icon are not complete at first. It's become complete when they merge with each other. Turn off the video again 
and let's clear the guides by going to the view menu and choose clear guides now click on the plus layer and from shapes menu choose rectangle and from this corner draw a mask Now go back to the original video. Um, you, will, you will notice that the shape is not similar to the original one. Uh, to do that, we will manipulate the corner of the mask until we reach to the similar shape. Maybe a little from here and a little from here. Now choose the plus layer and click Ctrl plus D from keyboard to duplicate the layer so we can have another copy of the triangle shape. Right click and from transform menu choose flip vertical then flip horizontal. Then make sure to alignment to the other shape. Let's change the color and make sure that the corners is alignment. Now delete the color effect. Now back to the original video to see what happened. Um, okay, the shapes come from the corner of the screen and then merge at the end of animation. Okay, let's go to the end of the animation and click P from keyboard to bring the position properties and click on this little watch icon and you will notice that. Uh, blue dots appear here and this is called keyframes let's get back to beginning of the animation and click again on the little watch icon to make another keyframe choose the right triangle and move it to the right top of the screen and the left triangle to the left bottom of the screen now let's play the scene uh, you will notice that the animation is not the same and uh, that's because the original one is smoother than the one that we made it here and to make our animation smooth Select the first two keyframes and right click keyframes assistant and choose easy ease out. Select the last keyframes, right click keyframes assistant and easy ease in. It's better now, but not perfect. Let's fix that by going to graph editor and uh, let's start manipulate the keyframes until we have a perfect animation now let's jump to other animation to transition it's about white rectangle and easy to do create a new solid Choose the white color, drag it at the bottom of the layers, Ctrl plus D to duplicate, turn off the bottom one, go to the end of the original animation, and when you choose the white layer, click S from keyboard to bring the scales properties and create a new keyframe. Now go back to the beginning of the original video animation and create a new keyframe. You will notice again that the animation is not the same and like we did with the triangle let's make some changes on the graph editor until we reach to the good result Now to make it as transition drag it at the top of the other white layer and choose the palm one Let's turn this video layer off. 
now. While you selected the perm layer, go to the track mat menu and choose the second choice. Now, if we play the scene, you will notice that we succeed to make it as transition. Let's test it on the real video. Yep, it's work. Let's also turn on the triangles. It's working too. Um, about track map, if you can't find it, you can bring it by clicking on this icon. Okay, here we have finished the first part. See you in the second one.